comics are a better investment than the stock market. And I'm going to give you three reasons why. Now, of course, stocks also have their own advantages as investments. So really, the best strategy is to diversify your portfolio and invest in some stocks and in some comics. But I am a comic book channel, and so today I'm going to talk about why it is good to invest in comics. First of all, and what is probably most intuitive to anyone thinking about investing in comics, is that comics tend to have a much higher economic utility than stocks. So what is economic utility? Well, it's the total amount of satisfaction that a consumer experiences when they purchase or own an asset. So let's think about how that can apply to stocks versus comic books. Well, let's say that I had $1,300 to invest. Now, for that amount of money, I could buy about 10 shares of Amazon stock, which I think is about as safe a stock to buy right now. Or I could buy a 5.0 Amazing Spider-Man number 129. Now, in terms of a financial investment, I think both of those are great investments. Now, of course, past performance of an asset is not a guarantee of how it's going to perform in the future, but over time, both Amazon and ASM 129 have risen in value. And you know, when you look at blue chip stocks and blue chip comic books, they're pretty comparable. Of course, it's never going to be completely equal, but, but they're close. However, when it comes to economic utility, ASM 129 for most people is going to blow out Amazon. So in other words, if I have 10 shares of Amazon, for the most part, I just turn on the computer and see some numbers on a screen. And of course, over time, if I see those numbers grow, it brings me some level of happiness. But you know, it's mostly just kind of this theoretical, abstract asset I own. However, when it comes to ASM 129, just holding it in my hands like a baby brings me so much joy. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Punisher, and so to have his first appearance is awesome. If I want to, I can put it on the wall and walk by every day and see it and walk into the room and have joy. It's just not going to happen when I look at the Amazon price on my computer screen. I'm going to be able to tell my friends, hey, I, I got my grill, the ASM 129. And they're going to say, oh man, awesome. And, and maybe they'll even be a little bit jealous, which I might like a little bit. But those kind of responses I get from my friends is going to pump me full of dopamine and good feelings and joy. But if I go and tell my friends, hey, guess what? I bought 10 shares of Amazon stock. They're going to be like, oh, okay, great. They're not going to have the same response, and, and I'm not going to have the same response. I, I don't get excited about owning 10 shares of Amazon stock. I don't hunt. I don't hope one day that I'll come across those 10 shares. But for years, I hoped one day I would have this, and now I do. And this economic utility is why probably most of us, again, are even considering comics as an investment. And as they say, you can't buy happiness. And so that joy that you can receive from owning comics or any other type of collectible that you're interested in can make comics a great investment. Number two, comics are much less liquid than stocks. Wait, what, what, what did you say? Is, wait, isn't liquidity a good thing? Well, it depends. So let's define liquidity. Well, liquidity is the measure of how easily an asset can be converted into cash at the market price. And stocks are much more liquid than comic books. So in other words, if I want to go sell those 10 shares of Amazon stock, I can do that super easy. I just need to log on to my computer, click a few buttons, and within a few minutes, those stocks are sold. And it might take a day or two for the exchange to officially happen and for me to get cash into my bank account. But it's pretty easy peasy to turn that $1,300 of Amazon stock into $1,300 of cash. However, if I want to sell this ASM 129, it's going to be a lot harder to turn it into $1,300 just because there are much fewer buyers looking for this than Amazon stock. I mean, I can easily find someone who wants to buy my Amazon stock, but I can't so easily find someone who's going to give me $1,300 for this. 
And so again, you might be thinking, wait, wait, are you trying to promote stocks? Don't I want to be able to convert my assets into cash very easily? Well, the answer is yes. Of course, we all want to be able to turn this into cash as quickly as possible. But the fact that these assets are so illiquid means that you can often find them at great deals because there are a lot of people who own these assets who don't want to take the time to sell them. Maybe they're older and they're just ready to be done with a hobby. Maybe they inherit these books and just like, I just want to get what I can for them. Or maybe they lost a job recently and they need cash more quickly. There's a lot of reasons why someone might not want to wait to find the person who will give them full market value and are willing to sell these at a discount. So if you go on the hunt and you find someone who's just looking to get some amount of decent cash for their books, well, you can get big books sometimes for 50% off or, or more, especially if you're going to buy a whole collection or multiple books, you can get great deals. And so if all of a sudden you're able to get this $1,300 book for seven or $800, just because it's so illiquid and somebody just wants to get rid of it. Well, my goodness, all of a sudden you've made a great investment because if you want, you can turn around and get 11, 1200 pretty much right away for it. If you go to eBay or you know other places to sell it, or if you want it a little longer, then you can get that $1,300. On the other hand, you're never going to find someone who's willing to sell you their Amazon stock for 50% off. Because again, there's just so many buyers for that stock that it's just easy for them to get full market value. And it's so easy for them to get the information of what that stock is worth so that they know how much to sell it for on the open market. Because you can just Google you know, Amazon stock price. But it's a lot harder if you don't know where to look to find out, well, what is an ASM 129 worth? Especially if it's in raw condition and if you don't have any experience in grading, you won't even know what that book really is worth. You don't know if it's high grade or mid grade or low grade. And so a person in that position is just going to take the first reasonable offer that comes to them. And you can make a great profit when you find books that way. Now, before I get to the next reason why comic books can be a greater investment than the stock market, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so now. Now, this brings me to my third reason why comics can be such a great investment, and this also deals with the fact that they are very illiquid, because that lack of liquidity protects you from sudden crashes. So, in other words, when it comes to the stock market, if some kind of big event happens, like 9-11 is a great example, or COVID, these big events that create a lot of fear in a country and an economy, then in those times, people tend to want to turn their assets into cash because cash is king, cash feels safer, and so they're just looking to get cash in their pocket. And because stocks are so liquid, that means that they can unload those stocks all at once. And so maybe tons of people are trying to convert their Amazon stock into cash. And so what happens is that the market gets flooded with these stocks. There's an increase of the supply. And whenever there's a high supply, prices go down. And so you might have this Amazon stock that's worth about $130 a share today, but in two weeks, it's lost 30, 40% of its value because of some big event. Where on the other hand, because comics are more illiquid, then you're not all of a sudden gonna to have tons of sales and tons more supply on the market, which will drive their prices down. Now, of course, comic values can go down just like stocks. In fact, we're probably all familiar that this past year or so, we've seen a real correction in the comic book market, but those corrections tend to be slower. You know, it's not all of a sudden two weeks and you've lost half of the value. It's more like six or seven months before you see those big losses. And so if you're paying attention, you realize, oh, COVID just came or, you know, some other horrible event, then, you know, this might not be worth much in a few months because people are just going to hang on to their cash. I'm going to put it on the market now. And of course, you might lose a little bit compared to what you've gotten before that event happened, but it's just not going to be as drastic in the short term. Now, if you built up an emergency fund, which I highly recommend, I personally would never 
have bought this if I didn't first have an emergency fund, then you might not be under any pressure to sell any of your assets when those kind of disasters happen. And you can just hold on to them and then eventually you know, they'll both recover. The stock market has a history of always recovering. The comic book market has a history of always recovering. And so it's not as a big a deal at that point, but if you do think you'll need to turn your assets into cash sooner rather than later, then the liquid nature of a comic book can keep you safer, I think, from those sudden crashes. Now again, if you think you're gonna need cash super quickly, like within a day or two, Obviously, the liquidity of the stock market then is a very good thing. But if you're just like, yeah, probably in a few weeks, a few months, maybe a year or two, you just want to protect yourself from those big plunges, then I think comic books can be a great investment. Now, there are other reasons that comics can be a better investment than the stock market. And if you'd like to hear about those, please leave me a comment below and let me know. But I at least wanted to share three of my favorite reasons why I like to invest in comic books in addition to the stock market. Once again, the stock market has tons of its own advantages, and so I'm not trying to discourage anyone from investing in that. But as I said at the beginning, this is a comic book channel, and so I just want to share some reasons why I think it's worthwhile to invest in comic books. And then you can tell those to your friends who criticize you and tell you that's dumb. You know, it's just paper. You know, you're wasting your money. Tell them, hey, 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 go watch this Wahoo comic video. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd really appreciate if you consider doing so. Like comment tell me if you buy these reasons or if you have other reasons or if you think i'm way off my rocker and we should stick to the stock market or maybe cryptocurrency or nfts tell me what your favorite investment asset is as always thanks for watching and i look forward to the next one